so what we have seen yesterday in the us market is huge volatility and uh, this has actually came after the fed official see higher rates for some time ahead now whether the market has factored in or what will be the way with which we are going to see things ahead so this is something which we need to look at going forward and this is what we are going to analyze now one thing is very clear even though we have seen some big volatility intraday uh, if you are looking at the price action whether you're talking about the dow jones you're talking about the s&p or even nasdaq they are still holding on to their levels irrespective of huge amount of volatility and at the same time the range is getting narrower day after day so which means there is something which is about to happen now whether it will happen on the upside or on the downside that is yet to be seen but there is something which is about to happen now as far as the trend is concerned this is the range what we have in front of us okay this is the range what we have in front of us where we have our downside now i'm talking about dow jones and this is 15 minutes chart okay today i'm analyzing 15 minutes chart because the range is getting narrower and narrower so what do we have here we have 32859860 on the downside and as your support and we have 32580 as our stop loss okay similarly on the upside we have 33400 and we do have 33446 or 33450 so this is the range which we have to look at and if you don't want 32580 that's fine but uh, you know you don't require that because the actual range is in between 32859860 on the downside and 32446447 on the upside so focus on this range so if you want you can keep your strict stop loss at 32000 860 and uh, your resistance at 33446 or 447 above, above which you can expect some sort of uh, bounce back move going forward so one indication is there now i'm not going to talk about whether i'm thinking uh, uh, an upside or a downside because until and unless uh, let the range play out maybe the positivity will be on the upside but until and unless Dow Jones started trading above 33,447, we can't talk about that. Okay, but keep your stop loss at uh, 32,860 on the downside if you want to go long or vice versa. Also, talking about SPX, talking about SPX. Now, mind you, I, I, I'll keep on uh, reminding the same thing again and again because when you're talking about the big trend for S&P 500, it is still on the negative side. And that's something you need to understand. Maybe, uh, you know, on intraday basis, you will see something positive. That is different thing. But when you're talking about the overall trend, for the trend or downtrend to change, we require or we must require some big moves. We require some heavy substance. So let the bounce back comes along with the volume so that we can rely upon them. Now, talking about uh, the S&P 500, it is also showing some narrower price movement so let me remove this thing and let us just focus on the current range so what do we have here here we are on the downside we have 3797 as our stop loss and you have your support at 3825 this is what we have here as far as the lower end of the range is concerned and talking about the upside you have 3856 which is very near to the close price we then have 3874 and as far as the big target is concerned we have 3892 so this is the range in between which s p 500 is trading so here also the range is getting very narrower you know it simply indicates in both these uh, instances it simply indicate that the range will not sustain for very long period of time which means there is something big which is about to happen and similarly as far as the nasdaq is concerned similar scenario and you will see this kind of uh, similar patterns because there is hardly any trading volume some will go up some will go down and then we need to analyze or reanalyze the uh, actual stock for or to understand the trend so we have 
for nasdaq the trend is or range is very simple 10316 as your immediate support and 10200 and 10 or 12 as far as the stop loss is concerned similarly on the upside 10510 as your immediate target and your big resistance at 10621 now there is a catch that even if you will see a sharp spike towards 10752 that's also fine but the question is whether nasdaq will sustain above 10752 or more okay that's the big question that's the big question what we have here so all the indices are range bound they are trading actually in a very narrow range right now there is no point thinking about whether the trend will become positive or negative but keep your stop loss on place if you want to go upside you just need to keep your strict stop loss on the downside and let's just wait for the breakout because one indication which at least i am getting from all the charts or all the three charts is the range is getting narrower and narrower so which means a big trend or big swing is about to come so this is the end of the video thanks for watching